All right, hello guys. You can see on my palette I have about a dollar size worth of paint. Uh, I've got my brushes, both rounded tip and flat tip. So what we're going to start off doing is just covering our paper in blue, which is kind of a medium tone uh, value or hue. Um, what I did was I put down a base layer of paint, and now I've just added a little water to that uh, just to completely cover the whole canvas. Make sure there's no white. Uh, you can use a newspaper if you want um, to help up with the cleanup. Now you can see I'm mixing red uh, and blue for a deeper violet. <clears throat> and that way, uh, as things appear farther away, sometimes they p appear darker uh, or in one value. So notice that I'm doing lines side to side um, and then going back through and touching it up with darker lines. Um, and this just kind of creates the waves for it. And notice that my, um, my wash is the highlights, and I've just added some dark tones to that. Now I'm going to add my pier in. And what I want to do is I want to build up layers. So right now that's a pretty bright layer that I'm laying down first. I want to make sure that my lines are straight. Here I'm making the post for the uh, kind of like a tiki hut. And I'm using my line brush, my flat um, edged brush. And I'm also using the flat edge brush for this. Um, to create the straw for the, the roof. Now I'm going to start laying in my low lights or lower tones and uh, every time I always start off with just red, yellow, and blue. Uh, from there I can make about any color um, and I also like to use uh, a light brown. So with this, I've mixed a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, a little more red than blue, and then I also mixed a little brown in to just really darken that up. Now what I'm doing is I'm letting most of this dry. Uh, the newspaper is really nice because I can take, and if I've over, um, like there you can see I just put down too much paint so I went to the side and I pulled some of that paint out because I want that that straw look what I've done with my flat brush is I've really dried it out gotten just a little bit um, of paint on that so that the bristles are kind of spread apart and so as I come down it's it's creating um, different lines thicker and thin lines and I also like to use my fingers to um, smooth some stuff out or to take away. You can use a paper towel as well. Now make sure you pick a direction from where the sunlight is coming. If you don't pick a direction, then um, you're going to cause people to kind of question what you're doing. Notice that my sunlight is coming from the top left side. And so every post will have a highlight on the left side of it. And pay attention to things like shadows. So I've got a shadow that the sun is getting under uh, the Tiki hut just a little bit, but I should have brought that out to the right side just a little bit more. So every time I find a color that I like, I just kind of add a little highlights to the, the straw roof. And now I'm coming in with about the fourth layer. And the same with my pier. I've added quite a few layers to that as well.
Now I'm just kind of softening up these. I've taken a little darker color. And notice that at the top of my my roof there's uh, a lot of thicker colors and then at the bottom it gets a little thinner. I know that whenever I put brown over blue it's going to create a little bit darker and as those those straw pieces hang down over the roof it's not as thick as it was at the top and so it's going to be a little bit darker. Alright now we need to add our note on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my paper in half. Then I'm going to add a mark for the stamp just to help me re realize where that stamp's going to be. Now make sure you don't make your box too small where when I put your stamp on it covers up your address. Then what I've done was I've added these three lines and that's where I'm going to write my address. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my note to my parents. So you can say things like, uh, Mom, Dad, I really appreciate all your love and support that you've given me. Um, or this is where I went for this trip. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is what you're seeing. Uh, love your name. So that's how it's going to look. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know.